Hi, Elvin here. Okay, today I'm gonna do to you uh, a demo or rather a tutorial more geared towards the uh, intermediate or advanced user uh, as well as developers of uh, Windows Mobile. Um, the tutorial today is about um, Windows Mobile Device Emulator. How do you use it to um, um, connect to your PC and how do you use it to uh, connect to internet to go online. The um, benefits of using the um, emulator is that if you have an application, you can test it using the emulator. Okay, uh, for developers, uh, it is more for debugging purposes. If you have applications that require connectivity online, you can test using the emulator um, before releasing it to the um, real world or the physical device. So first of all, you have to download the uh, Windows Mobile SDK 6.0, 6.1, or 6.5. Um, and then install it, you will get the um, uh, device emulator manager under your program files. Okay, under program files, under Microsoft device emulator, you may get 1.0 or, or 2.0 and above. For me, is 1.0. Double clicking the, the, the exe file will bring this manager up. Okay, to connect the um, emulator is actually as easy as right clicking and connect. Uh, as you can see, I'm connecting to the uh, Windows Mobile 6 Classic. Okay, and so now the part how to connect it to your PC so that you can move um, CAD files into the emulator is is actually very simple. You just clicking the ones we has which has the uh, play sign here. Click action click. Cradle. Okay, by cradling it, you can connect to the. Um, see, connecting to. Then this one. It's a simple message. You can hear the sound of the uh, usual active sync connection. Then you can see the usual pop-ups. If you were to connect it, you, if you were to connect your PC to your uh, physical device, and so and then you can explore. Okay, it's as simple as that. Okay, everything else which you can do with your with the um, physical device you can do here in your emulator. Okay, but before you can connect this, there's a thing that you have to set the connection settings underneath uh, Microsoft Active Sync underneath file connection settings you have to make sure that allow connections to one of the following is set to DMA the settings this settings will not affect the connection between your Windows Mobile handheld with your PC it was everything will still work okay okay uh, let's go back to here uh, okay so now you see this sign means the connection is uh, to internet is 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 there so you can browse using Internet Explorer just like ordinary device okay just just google .com. okay uh, when this is happening let me do something here okay this is when this is opening okay you can see you can connect you can break nicely let's try to install something to the to the mobile device the emulator and see whether it works okay I have um, a demo app here a currency converter okay one thing to take note though you have to close the synchronization pop-up that you see just now in order for you to connect properly to internet I'm sure you experience the same kind of um, um, problem when you are uh, doing it with your physical handheld device okay mm. let's go to file explorer you can see the thing is here and now it's installing you prompt you to either install in your device, which is the uh, virtual memory, or install it to the storage card. Storage card, you can set the configurations here. 
okay this is your share folder you can set anything you want one-time settings of course I'm not going to install it in my storage card I'm just going to install it to my device if you install it to your storage card it will be permanently there unless you de you delete the file in your computer okay so go to program files and go to and this is your app you can test your applications this particular app that I built uh, requires uh, active connections to work okay if there's no active connections um, you will prompt you some error message okay um, basically is 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 I'm just gonna put something and, and show you that you work it, it requires active connections to pull the array okay now let's try to uncreate away and see what happened okay since there is no connections the error the error message pops up okay uh, that is the first part of how to use um, the Windows Mobile Emulator to connect to your PC and to connect to online. The second part will be a bit more advanced. It's about how to connect it to your local host. Um, if you are a developer, developer, you will know that um, by installing um, IELTS or um, uh, Apache, you have a local host address and you can easily debug your server side as well as your client side applications uh, just using your your local device right so I have Apache okay the service is is running um, Apache software foundation I'm just going to show you something um, just just some XML file here there is, there is some XML file here um, obviously um, sorry about that okay I'm just gonna create it again it's gonna let it connect to the internet um, okay obviously you cannot just okay just now I mentioned this right you have to shut this down before you can go to the internet if, if you try to go to the internet say again Okay, there will be a not found. Okay, because this thing is somehow jeopardizing the uh, connectivity. Okay, right now it can connect. Right. So just know what I mentioned is, if you want to connect to your local host, you cannot just type local host. Um, it works if you are doing it in your PC, but here you cannot just type local host. It, it won't detect. trouble detecting yeah it has trouble detecting so what you do is actually you try to find the uh, local IP address of your your local computer it, the emulator can detect that so you open up your command prompt okay or we can see um, type IP config then this is your this is my IP address okay you have to Get yours, and you can actually connect it via your IP address. Okay, so it works. Should come out. Okay, it works. This is the default Apache uh, HTML. Just now we have a path XML, so we can try. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. XML slash. Okay. You can see the all the files here are, are here. Okay. That's how you can use it to connect to your, your local server and, and to debug. Okay. I guess that's it for the tutorial today. Thank you for watching. Thanks.